Have you ever wondered what the world loses when a species disappears? It's a question that might seem abstract until we delve into the concept of biodiversity. Biodiversity or biological diversity is essentially the variety of life found on Earth, the myriad of species, genes, and ecosystems that make our planet vibrant and resilient. Our world is a complex web of life where each species plays a unique role, contributing to the overall health and balance of our ecosystems. From the smallest microorganism to the largest mammal, every form of life is essential, providing services we often take for granted. Insects pollinate our crops, forests regulate our climate, and bacteria in the soil recycle nutrients. Yet we are currently experiencing an alarming rate of species decline and extinction. This isn't the slow, natural evolution of life we've seen over millions of years. No, this is a rapid, human-induced loss of biodiversity happening at a speed unprecedented in human history. Just in the last few decades, we've witnessed the disappearance of the Pinta Island tortoise, the western black rhinoceros, and the Baiji River dolphin, to name a few. Each one of these species was a chapter in the Book of Life on Earth, and their loss is akin to tearing out pages, never to be read again. But it's not just about the loss of individual species. The decline in biodiversity affects the resilience of our ecosystems. It weakens the natural systems that clean our air and water, regulate our climate, and pollinate our crops. It's like pulling blocks from a Jenga tower, each loss destabilizing the structure a little more, until eventually it could all come crashing down. So the loss we cannot see is not just about the disappearance of species we may never encounter. It's about the unseen services they provide, the invisible threads that hold our world together. It's about the weakening of our life support system. The loss of biodiversity is a silent crisis that needs urgent attention. We may not see the consequences immediately, but the impact on our world, our survival, is profound. Why are we losing biodiversity at such an alarming rate? This question is the crux of our concern today. To understand this, we need to look at the primary causes of biodiversity loss. Habitat destruction, climate change, over-exploitation, pollution, and invasive species. Let's start with habitat destruction. This is perhaps the most visible cause of biodiversity loss. Forests are being razed to the ground, wetlands drained, and grasslands converted into agricultural fields. It's akin to pulling the rug from under someone's feet. The animals and plants that once thrived there have nowhere to go, leading to a drastic drop in their numbers. Next up is climate change, the big bad wolf of our time. With temperatures soaring and ice caps melting, species are being pushed out of their comfort zones. Polar bears, for instance, are losing their icy homes while coral reefs are bleaching due to warmer ocean waters. Then there's over-exploitation where humans are taking more than what nature can replenish. Overfishing and hunting for bushmeat are classic examples. The vaquita, a small porpoise in Mexico, is on the brink of extinction with less than 30 individuals left, primarily due to overfishing. Pollution, too, plays a significant role. From industrial effluents to plastic waste, our actions are contaminating the environment and wreaking havoc on biodiversity. An example that comes to mind is the alarming rate at which seabirds are dying due to plastic ingestion. Finally, we have invasive species. Those that are introduced to new areas and outcompete native species for resources. The brown tree snake in Guam, for example, has caused the extinction of several bird species since it was accidentally introduced after World War II. In essence, the actions of humans are a significant factor behind the loss of biodiversity. Our activities are altering the environment in ways that make it inhospitable for many species, leading to their decline and, in some cases, extinction. It's a grim reality, but one that we must confront if we are to halt this loss. The actions of humans are a significant factor behind the loss of biodiversity. But what happens when a species disappears? What are the effects on our world? Let's dive into this. The loss of a single species can create a ripple effect, like a stone thrown into a pond. This ripple can disrupt the balance of ecosystems and trigger a domino effect that impacts other species. This is because in nature every creature, whether it's a tiny insect or a towering tree, plays a role in the grand symphony of life. They all contribute to the harmony of our ecosystems. Now imagine a food chain. Picture a bird that feeds on insects. If the insect species disappears, the bird loses its food source. This leads to a decline in the bird population. And what about the plants that the insects were feeding on? They may overgrow, causing further imbalance. 
This domino effect can lead to the collapse of entire ecosystems, but the ripple effect of biodiversity loss doesn't stop there. It reaches us humans too. How you ask? Let's start with our dinner plates. Many of the foods we enjoy, from fruits to fish, depend on biodiversity. A decline in species can threaten our food security. Medicine is another area where we feel the impact. Many of the drugs we use today are derived from nature. From painkillers to cancer treatments, biodiversity is a treasure trove of potential medical breakthroughs. If we lose species, we also lose potential cures. And let's not forget the role of biodiversity in climate stability. Forests, for example, act as carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. If we lose forest species, we lose a critical tool in our fight against climate change. So, what's the takeaway here? Biodiversity loss isn't just about the disappearance of a species. It's about the disruption of life's intricate web, the domino effect that touches everything, including us. The loss of biodiversity affects us all, whether we realize it or not, or there is hope. People across the globe are taking steps to protect and restore biodiversity. From the depths of the Amazon rainforest to the heights of the Himalayan peaks, conservation efforts are in full swing. These endeavors come in many shapes and forms, each playing a crucial role in the fight to protect our planet's biodiversity. In the heart of Africa, for instance, expansive protected areas have been established. These wildlife sanctuaries offer a safe haven for countless species, shielding them from threats such as poaching and habitat destruction. They serve as microcosms of what our planet once was, teeming with life and diversity. Meanwhile, in the verdant fields of Europe, a different kind of revolution is underway. Farmers are embracing sustainable farming practices, turning their backs on harmful pesticides and destructive land use. They're proving that agriculture and biodiversity don't have to be at odds. Instead, they can coexist with each benefiting the other. But the fight doesn't end there. Across the world, communities are stepping up, taking matters into their own hands. They're planting trees, cleaning rivers, and educating their neighbors. These community-led conservation initiatives may seem small in scale, but they pack a powerful punch. They're grassroots movements sprouting from the ground up to cultivate a brighter, greener future. At the same time, international treaties are playing a pivotal role. They're setting global standards, enforcing regulations, and fostering cooperation among nations. These treaties are the backbone of our collective effort, holding us accountable and propelling us forward in our quest to safeguard biodiversity. These efforts, though diverse and dispersed, share a common goal, to protect and restore the vibrant tapestry of life that graces our planet. They're a testament to our resilience, our ingenuity, and our capacity to change. Together, we can make a difference and turn the tide on biodiversity loss. So what can you do to help protect biodiversity? As we've learned, biodiversity is the lifeblood of our planet, the intricate web of life that sustains us all. But with the ever-looming threat of biodiversity loss, the time has come for each one of us to take responsibility and play our part in its protection. You may wonder how you, as an individual, can contribute to such a global issue. Well, the answer is quite simple and starts with a commitment to making sustainable choices. From the food you eat to the products you buy, every decision has an impact. Opt for local organic produce or products that are sustainably sourced and produced Reduce, reuse, recycle, a mantra we've all heard, but one that is more relevant now than ever before. But it's not just about what we consume, it's also about what we conserve. Supporting conservation organizations is another practical way to help. These organizations work relentlessly to protect and restore our planet's biodiversity, and your donations, whether monetary or in-kind, can significantly aid their efforts. Moreover, you can volunteer your time to local conservation projects, Plant a tree, clean a beach, build a birdhouse. The possibilities are endless. Not only will you be directly contributing to biodiversity conservation, but you'll also gain a deeper appreciation for the natural world around you. Finally, never underestimate the power of your voice. Spreading awareness about biodiversity loss, whether it's through social media, conversations with friends and family, or even writing to your local representative, can foster a greater understanding and urgency around the issue. Remember, it's not about making grand gestures, but rather small, consistent actions that can lead to big changes. After all, if each one of us takes a step forward, we'll be moving mountains before we know it. Every action matters. Together, we can safeguard our planet's biodiversity for future generations.